Hello guys, I have been working on AWS recently and I thought we'll just start off with using Logstash which is used to transfer your data from your DynamoDB table to the Elasticsearch and then from there to Kibana where you can visualize your data. Let's start with it. We'll be using a Logstash uh, GitHub repository which is provided on the AWS document. I'll be uploading the link, I'll be sharing the link with you in the description below. Please check out. Yeah, the first you need to create a DynamoDB table. So let's create one. I have already created a one, which is a sensor data, which stores all the data from the sensor to the DynamoDB. These are the data, temperature sensing. I use a temperature sensor in my Arduino which sends the data to AWS. You can create one just by entering a table name and a primary key. That's it. So yeah, the first part is done. Secondly, uh, there are some prerequisites which you need to download. First and the most important thing is the JRuby. If you're on Mac, just Type in, just type in brew install JRuby. So it will install, and same for Maven. It will, yeah. And Git, this is not necessary. JRuby and Apache Maven is the must. Then, once you create a DynamoDB table, we need to set up the Logstash plugin. So go to your desktop and uh, open a terminal out there. Then create a folder like I have created X and then see. Yeah, once you're in X folder. Execute all these commands. First one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. There'll be no problems, and if there are any errors, I found out a few errors while I was now configuring configuring my log stats. So if you have any errors, please do mention it in the comment and I'll be happy to solve it. Uh, to install Logstash plugin, yeah. So once you've installed for example, this is my X folder. I've installed the GitHub repository here and executed the commands which created a gem.log file for me. This is a gem file which is there in JRuby which helps us to create Logstash. So once you're done with the commands up there, you need to download this folder which is Logstash 2.3.3. The link I'll be mentioning in my description below. Please check out. So yeah, so once you download the Logstash 2.3.3 folder, open the folder in the terminal and then execute these commands. This will install the Logstash in your Mac or your PC. Then it comes to running, a, running the Logstash plugin. Please be cautious that you have to run the, you have to run these three commands these three commands in the logstash 2.3.3 folder and not in your github repository one not this folder not the x folder but your logstash folder so open it like this and then type your three commands not in this folder please or else the logstash won't work at least in my case it didn't work yeah so running the commands there's a con in the logstash 2.3 once you execute the three commands you will have one dot conf file once you open it this will be the code written in it you have to enter your access key id and your secret key the table name is your 
dynamo db table name which i have mentioned here which is my sensor data which i with the data i want to transfer to my elastic search yeah yo now this part is the most important part host this is the depreciated one so you could type host with an s yeah it will uh, the terminal will guide you and the local host if you want to run the elastic search on a local host and the kibana on your local host you are most welcome to do that but i recommend you to create one elastic search using your aws management console this is the elastic search of it so it's very easy to create elastic search just create a new domain type something next okay Uh, select T3 micro yeah this one instance will be EBS just click on next and it will be and this is yeah this is the setup access policy here we'll set it to allow open access to the domain just for tutorial if you want to you can change it according to your convenience this is your resource ARN which is the Amazon resource name and then confirm and create so it will be created up here so I've created one this is the triple A one okay fine so as I was saying here in the repository uh, in the dot conf file where it's mentioned hosts equal co corresponds to local host just change this local host one sec I'll show you what all has to be done yeah so your your access key and secret key this will be your table name table name where you want table dynamo db table name that will be better yeah dynamo db table name yeah dynamodb table name and host yeah the host is not allowed in the recent version so we have to put an s hosts and this is the local host one if this doesn't work try this which in case to work for me 9200 is the port we use for the elastic search yeah this is the host okay fine and elastic search how can we use it once the elastic search is created you will get an endpoint address copy and paste it here this endpoint address will show you if this thing shows that means the elastic search is working perfectly so just copy paste your endpoint here And then the final thing is, yeah. And, uh, and the only step left is to transfer data. This one to run the log stash type, just type in this. So let's see what happens. You can just run this command. It will take a while. Yeah, so this is the data that I have in my DynamoDB table. Don't be surprised. The only thing you need is this the temperature and the value. So, the sensor ID, sensor ID, temperature value. This is the only thing you need. There. Fine. Keep this running and then this is the Kibana one I was talking about to visualize the data. Just click on it. This is a plugin provided by Elasticsearch. You don't have to install Kibana or anything. Just click on the link. Yeah. 
wait for a minute or two. Yeah, so once you click on discover, this is the data. You can then search for anything, for example, value. All the values will be displayed. Yeah, so we use this visualize. These are my graph. You can use those graphs. And this is it about transferring your data from your DynamoDB table to the log stash to your Kibana. Sorry. One more thing I wanted to mention is the output. The output that you get on your uh, on your terminal. Like for example, this one, yeah. So this is the standard output. You can just change it to like a uh, codec Ruby debug. Let's see. Sorry, debug. Fine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I'm not opening the dot .conf of mine because it has my access key. So please do not share your access key and your secret key with anyone. They'll have access to your account. Yeah. So in your .conf file, this one, if you want your data to be displayed in some another format, so please. So this is one of the format code at Ruby Debug. If you want other formats, you can just Google it out. I'll uh, I'll post the link in my description below. Yeah, and one thing I wanted to share with you, which is the most easy one, I think, uh, using this SNS service. This is simple notification service. So basically, if you want to send someone um, uh, an email through your portal or through Amazon, or if you want to get notified about your sensor, if I have a DynamoDB table and if any data comes into my table, and or if any operations are performed, then I want it to be notified to me through my mobile by SMS. That's possible, but only in the region of uh, North, Cali uh, North California. Yeah, North California. In other regions, it's not available. So first, for that, just create a topic. I have discussed this in the previous videos. Subscribe. Once you create a topic, subscribe to the topic. Create subscription. Yeah, so here comes the main part. This is the topic ARN. ARN as I referred to was uh, Amazon resource name. Every resource has a name. So the subscription subscription sorry doesn't know where to subscribe to, whom to subscribe to, which topic to subscribe to. So hence we need to provide it with a name ARN. This name, yeah. So any topic you want. So copy this. Paste it here. In your topic ARN. Oh, sorry, I didn't copy it. Uh, copy it and paste it here. This is I should look fine. Huh. Now you can you can be notified using these many options which are there. The simple one is email, I think. Yeah, email endpoint like to whom do you want to send a message? Like for example, me. So type your email ID. I have created a one, this one, yeah. And then, if you want to publish it, which one is this? This is Northeast 131. Okay. And if you want to publish it, click the topic, publish, subject type in any subject you want, any message you want, and then time to live like one twelve minutes fine publish message it will be mailed to you as simple as that so this is just a bonus consider this as the bonus thing this is very simple you can make it for uh, sms or for email jsa yeah so i'll be posting more videos in the future uh if you have any doubts any errors while implementing this please to comment i'll reply within 24 hours 
प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू